Today's video is all about one of the most crucial aspects of bringing a canine into your home, the costs. Buying and providing for an energetic dog like the Boxer can be more than a first time breed owner expects. We're going to be looking at what kind of funds it takes to get and then maintain the sturdy Boxer for their life. Welcome back to The Boxer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Charlie and I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about The Boxer and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise the perfect boxer. So if you're a lifelong lover, thinking about getting one or just started your journey with your new boxer, then this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future boxer video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll go into all the details of what it really costs to own this exceptional breed. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world, and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels, and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Like other working dogs, boxers will do their best in homes that give them a job to do, that burns off their endless energy. This could mean competing in obedience or agility sports, which would also mean spending more money for traveling and training. People who are away from the house all day may also find it necessary to enlist a dog walker, which could add costs. Now that we understand a few more of the ways the boxer can cost more than expected, let's get into the upfront costs. First, you'll need to find and buy your new boxer, and the cost can be anywhere from $100 to $500, adoption fee from a rescue, or average $800 to $3,500 from a breeder. Obviously, when it comes to a breeder, you'll want to do plenty of research, and you'll pay more if you're looking for a boxer with a top-notch pedigree. Next, you'll need all the basic tools and materials that go along with caring for your new canine companion. Boxers are, at the end of the day, a medium-sized breed, which makes beds, crates, and collars that little bit more expensive. You'll want to buy a decent bed for your puppy, and you'll ideally want something tough to chew up and easy to wash. For a decent-sized bed, this will cost around $50 to $75 for a good quality one. You absolutely must have a collar and a lead that fits them as they grow, so you'll likely need a puppy size and an adult size, unless you find a quality one with an adjustable range. Expect to pay around $135 for a good adult collar and lead. You'll want to get bowls that can be easily cleaned for both water and food. Your food bowls will depend on if you're feeding a dry dog food or a raw diet. Some boxers will eat their dry food at lightning speed, while others will take it one piece of kibble at a time. So, you may need to invest in a slow feeder bowl, which will run around $20. For standard stainless steel dishes, you'll be looking at around $10 or less. Another idea to help feed your dog slowly is by filling a Kong with their food and freezing it for an hour or so. So they have to work the Kong to get the food out. This can keep them moving around the room for at least 20 minutes. Feeding a raw diet will also naturally slow down a fast eater, since they have to work a little harder to chew through the meat and bone. Early on, you'll want to invest in some durable and mentally stimulating toys to keep your puppy from chewing and stop chewing from becoming a bad habit. Some good ideas to keep your dog active and entertained day to day include filled Kongs, treat dispensing balls, hide and slide puzzles, snuffle mats, or a simple game of hide and seek with your dog's favorite toy or have high value treat. Now, I always suggest crate training your canine companion, even if you don't plan on crating them often. It allows them to have a comfortable space of their own. For a good quality and versatile crate for your boxer, plan to spend around $125 for a typical black wire crate. Some individuals may need a more heavy duty crate depending on their anxiety level. When you adopt, your boxer may be past their puppy stage and already have all their vaccinations, but picking a puppy up from a shelter or a breeder means you'll probably need to get vaccinations from your vet. For a dog of their size, you can plan to spend around $400 for their first full year of vaccinations, and most vets do offer a discount when you purchase their puppy wellness plan. The last, but certainly not least, upfront cost you'll have when bringing a box of puppy into your home 
is a training packet. For an intelligent and protective breed like the Boxer, early training is critical. I suggest a puppy course, which usually sell for around $200, and in it you'll find detailed lessons so you can train your puppy one-on-one. -on -one. Following a course means you'll be that much closer to having the perfect canine companion in your home, and you'll be the calm, consistent leader that your puppy needs. Deciding what to feed your new Boxer isn't something you should take lightly, especially seeing as they can be prone to joint and digestive issues typical in dogs of their size. I always suggest a raw diet, but it can feel overwhelming to do so at first. So if you decide to feed it a grain-free dry food, you'll be spending around $60 every month for a high quality kibble. A raw diet will depend on your location, but on average, plan to spend around $100 a month to feed your box of this superior diet. It's a great idea to also have pet insurance and have an emergency fund on hand for medical issues that can come up especially with an energetic dog like the Boxer. The most basic plans for their size start around $35 a month and can go up for more comprehensive coverage. If you work out of the home all day and or plan to go on a vacation without your Boxer, you'll need to factor in the costs of daycare, walkers and potential boarding facilities. There are several apps and services that link you to people who can provide these services if you don't have any family or friends available. Doggy daycare for your Boxer will run at around $50 a day. A dog walker can start at around $35 a day and overnight boarding can range between $60 to $75 a night. Of course, what you spend on extras for your canine companions, like treats or pet sitters, is a personal choice and is dependent on your circumstances and budget. You'll find that the boxer needs early and consistent training to work off their energy and keep you in place as the leader. Your upfront costs in buying a boxer will vary widely depending on if you adopt or if you're looking for exceptional purebred lines. Other than potential muscle sprains and running injuries, their maintenance costs will be pretty standard for their size throughout their life. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down on the comment section below. And don't forget if you are new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated boxer videos in here every single week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of The Boxer Show.